All right, welcome back to the Healthy Kitchen at Hilton Head Health. I'm Chef Thomas. We're going to continue on with another avocado recipe. Uh, it makes me happy to know that you're actually cooking this stuff. So um, that's my job here, get everybody cooking. Uh, so here we go. This is going to be a guacamole. And I don't know many people that don't like guacamole. Uh, but again, you get the calorie hit from the avocados, all the fat in it. Uh, and, you know, if you're going to make it, uh, you might want to make it on a Thursday. You go out and buy your avocados the rock hard and you end up making it on Sunday and then you don't want guacamole anymore. So this is a nice recipe to help alleviate that. Uh, so we're going to start by getting our prep ready. So we're putting some cilantro in here again. So I'm going to pull off these cilantro leaves. And as I mentioned before, the stems are tender and delicious. Uh, so we can use those. And we're going to give this a little chop. And everything's not going into the food processor in this recipe. So we got our nice chopped cilantro. I'm going to get this a little more fine. I hope you're not one of those people that cilantro tastes like soap. That's a genetic uh, thing that happens with the tongue. All right, that looks really good. We're going to set this aside. We're going to prep some garlic. And we're just putting a little bit of garlic in here. Uh, we're putting it in raw. And uh, if you've been to my cooking demos, you know that I often say if the recipe says one tablespoon of garlic, it really means three. Uh, I don't do that when we're going to eat it raw like this. So... Uh, we're going to follow the recipe, and I'm going to start. We get our garlic peeled here. It saves us a lot of time, but I'm going to cut this little stem end off of here, which is basically a little piece of wood, and I'm going to give these garlics a little crush with my knife, and we're going to mince. And as I mentioned, it's, it's going to be raw in our guacamole, uh, so we want to get this really fine. We don't want a big hunk of garlic to get caught between our teeth. And we'll be tasting garlic all day, which I guess isn't a bad thing. But So our, our garlic is actually being mixed with a little cilantro in. So we're going to do a little trick here. As I said, we want to get this a really fine mince. And uh, to do that, I'm going to line up my garlic like so. And I'm, I'm doing this so it's in the same shape as my knife. So I'm going to set my knife on this line of garlic. I'm going to push down pretty hard and give a sideways smoosh. That's the technical term, smoosh. So you can see that it's, it pushes down and spreads those granules out so I can get a much more surface area to chop at. So let's line this up. We'll push down and smush. And we'll chop away again. And we're going to do this one more time. Okay, so you can see we got a very fine mince on our garlic. So we'll set this aside over here next to our cilantro. And next, we're going to dice up some tomatoes. And these are Roma tomatoes. And I just want the flesh on the outside. I don't want the seeds and all the pulp on the inside. So what I'm going to do is cut both ends off of these tomatoes. I'm going to save these for my vegetable broth. I don't like to throw flavor in the garbage. So I'm going to put a little slit in the side of this tomato. And I'm going to push and unroll. I'm going to set my knife against the flesh and just unroll this tomato and it's going to clean out all the seeds and this pulp on the inside. We get a nice clean tomato here. Okay, now we're going to put some red onion in here as well. Uh, it gives it a little color, a little crunch, and I love the flavor of red onion in my guacamole. Uh, so we're going to do a fine dice on this. Like the garlic, we don't want a big chunk. Uh, so I'm going to start by cutting off this root. It usually has a lot of dirt in it, so we want to get rid of that. And I'm going to cut it in half through the stem part. So we'll set this aside. We only need a couple tablespoons of onion. So I'm going to peel off this uh, dry, papery outer layer. And I want to get to a nice, shiny layer of red onion, which I've got. This is beautiful. I'm just going to go straight down. And I'm going to do about one eighth inch intervals on here because I want a nice, fine dice. So I'm not cutting through the back end. It's going to hold this together. It wants to fall apart, especially now when I start cutting this way. So I flip it on that other edge, and then I'm going to turn it in this direction and cut very thin, nice little dice. And that will be plenty for our guacamole. So let's get our avocado ready. So we want about three quarters of a cup of the avocado and uh, if you saw the last video where I made the aioli, you know I'm going to put my toe and my knife right in here on the very top, go down to that pit, and I'm going to roll along my knife. And it goes right back to where we started. 
We pop that open. Again, we got lucky with these avocados. This is a really good batch. And we're going to do the same for this avocado. And we're going to scoop out three quarters of a cup. And let's scoop this out. I'm going to eyeball it. You can measure it exactly. Uh, for our, uh, when we do this in our kitchen, we do measure everything exactly. So we make sure we're consistent in our calories. And I'm thinking each one of these halves is about a quarter of a cup. So let's get that in here. And we're going to finally get to our secret weapon to make this guacamole really special. And that is going to be some nice spring peas. Uh, very seasonal. Uh, peas are coming out right now. Uh, these are nice green peas. We're going to put these in here. So the green peas, we're going to puree. And it's going to give us a bright, bright spring flavor. And it's going to maintain that green color. And it's also going to maintain that creaminess. So this is going to really knock down our calories. So not only does it make it healthier, but it, it actually tastes better. If you like guacamole, you, you got to try this. So I'm going to puree these. And we want an equal part of green peas to avocado. So we're looking for about three quarters of a cup. So I'm going to mash these together a little bit. So we'll just kind of break up our avocado. So no matter how ripe or unripe these are, you can mix this right in with the peas. So let's add a couple tablespoons of our diced red onion, a quarter cup of our tomatoes, a little bit of our finely minced garlic, and some cilantro. And finally, a nice squeeze of lime. The lime helps to prevent the avocado from oxidizing and it also gives it a really nice flavor. So about a tablespoon of our lime juice. And finally, just a little pinch of salt. And we're gonna mix this all together. You can use frozen peas, you can use fresh peas. If you use frozen ones, of course, you wanna thaw them out prior to use. Uh, and that's it. I, I just love that bright green color. I love the freshness of the peas. That is fantastic. You can lower the calories. You can increase the texture, the flavor, and make them a little bit healthier. I'm Chef Thomas. Thanks for watching. I look forward to your comments and emails.